All right, we're talking about education. I don't know if you've noticed tuition's gone up. Okay, it's gone up about, say, 14% for four years in a row. The question I have is, why? I'm a scientist, so I like, I like to make hypotheses, test those hypotheses against real data. This is a social science humanities question. It's not a scientific question, but I'd like to know why you think tuition has gone up as much as it has. So, you've noticed tuition has gone up. It's gone up faster than cost of living index. It's gone up faster than almost everything else in society recently. Why do you think that's happened? You need to spend money on social institutions like education. And over the last few years, you know, the money that is flowing in and out of social institutions and the economy is dwindling. Okay. And so, because, in my opinion, it seems like education is taking, you know, a back burner as, you know, a major social issue. It's losing funding. Okay. The fact is, tuition has gone up significantly. The amount of money we now spend on each student, and by each student that incorporates my salary, Bill's salary, everybody's salary, um, <coughs> facilities and everything else, the amount of money we have to spend per student is less than it was before. Okay? The bad news is you're paying more. The really bad news is you're getting less for what you're paying. Okay? It would have been better to be here 10 years ago, pay less money and get more services. Okay? You're not getting any of that. So let's come back to your explanation. That explanation simply says hard economic times, the state has less money. How many of you are Washington State residents? Okay? Almost everybody. You know that Washington has no income tax. Okay? Fabulous thing, except it has very little ways to raise money. So not such a fabulous thing. If you're interested in public good, and public institutions are a public good, and all we do is make our money basically off of sales tax, and people are buying less, it's really hard to fund a government. Okay? So your explanation is, I think, from my perspective, in part, true. The state has less money than it has ever had. In fact, that's true. A piece that nobody seems to want to recognize is we talk about bloated government and, and the expansion of government. The size of the state government is about the same size as it was in 1989, I think the statistics are. That's a long time. We've expanded and we've contracted. So if there's big state bloat in government, it's not being seen in terms of the amount of dollars that are being spent, in terms of the number of employees, so that's just not happening. It is true the state has less money coming in. The state has less money coming in, there has to be less money going out. The question then becomes, where does it go? Okay? Our annual budget is about $57 million a year. If you go back about 10 years ago, about 10 years ago the state paid about 75% of that 57 million. They provided that money directly to the institution through various means. The rest of it came from students. But the amount of money that came directly to the Evergreen State College by 10 years ago was 75% of our operating budget. What do you think it is right now? It's about 33%. Okay? So there's been a huge shift. That is, the state has said, yeah, education's still pretty good, important, valuable. We have less money, we're not going to give it to you. We're going to give it to somebody else. Okay? So the question, one answer to my question is why has tuition gone up? Your hypothesis is, so as far as it goes, is absolutely true. It's gone up because there's less money. If you look at almost every other state agency, they have not experienced that kind of cut. Why have legislators allowed that to happen? There's been a real change in ethos since Gary Locke was governor. There's no advocate in the state that I can see now for education as a social good. It's been turned into a private good. That's exactly and the point. We, for state parks and all of that kind of stuff now, we have a user fee mentality. It's part of this user fee mentality. We don't have a sense of a commonwealth, uh, literally a commonwealth, mm -hmm. on which colleges rightly should draw if 
people thought it was a social good. And that's why he's teaching that class. Where I was going, where I was going, was not quite as articulately to that place. <laughs>